Simply Done, the podcast network. Well, what I'm saying is if the guy, if Sebastian Cabot killed those kids on that show. He didn't kill those kids. I got to get rid of TV land, man. Now, what were the names? Buffy? Hello. I saw you in the elevator. We talked. Where's the pack? It's spring. Where's all your stuff? I thought you needed all your stuff all the time. Every time you touch it, it pisses me off. You came in here. It pisses you off. Why don't you say something about it then? You really never did that, and you never um, denied it. other stuff. What are you doing? Why are you sitting on the Tasmanian devil? Well, because Tasmanian devil's in my seat. Move it up. You can't lift it up. You got to sit on... God, how what? do you live from day to day? You what move like you? a 70-year-old man. He's got a right to be hostile. He, I, he I, be I, you know, I have him. a right to be able to move like this because I had uh, four fucking neck surgeries. I didn't know that. When did this happen? Oh, shut up. You shut up. Hey, let's 11, all 17, shut up. 1782. Or no. Hey, listen, Perry, if I were you, I'd be a little cool. Five, I, seven. I got a real bone to pick with you. I got a real bone to pick with this too because it rocks. Coming to you pre-recorded from Simply Down the Podcast Network Studios at a secret location in West check, Hollywood, check. California. It's the Big Three Podcast. Why would you say check, check in the middle of the fucking opening? I'm you sorry. fucking dope. Take on. two. He's checking his microphone. Take two. Shut the fuck up. Coming to you pre-recorded from Simply Down the Podcast Network Studios at a secret location in West Hollywood, California. It's the Big Three Podcast. Hi, I'm your pal Don Barris. Check, check, I'm all. I'm, of course, the world's greatest scary Perry. You are I'm the world's James. greatest scary Perry. There's Take only one, though. Why there is that know? other guy who's a pretty good scary Perry. He's a close second. Uh, by the way, uh, my uh, best of, Lisa Marie says hello to everybody here. Well, hello Your best to her. Of. Yeah, my, my favorite. Did she send $10 for that shout-out? No, she didn't send $10 for a shout-out. Uh, I would she... like to say something, that when you're speaking of Lisa Marie, mm-hmm. the manager of the studio showed video from last week's show. The manager approached me and said that not only did you pee outside the studio, but Lisa Marie also pissed. What the fuck are you two animals doing? Did wow. you piss outside they... last week? They have video of it. Oh, God. Are you serious? Yes, I'm very serious. What are you two doing out there? I know you're a fucking animal, but what about Lisa? What the fuck? Maybe, she... you know what? Maybe that's like a mating thing for the Jabahos. Is that what that is? Well, it's the oh, dogs, God. do, and they, you know. Shut up, you. F- it makes sense, dude. Maybe you need to smell each other's scent. I don't know how it works with the Jabos. Actually, I don't either. Is that what goes on? Shut up. Just, just. No. Why are you saying shut up? We don't know. We Here's don't. a chance for okay. you to teach First us why did you guys about the Jabo. Well, why First did you guys off, it's make not yellow Jabo, all over it's Jehovah's other. Witnesses? Okay, so you why don't know that one? For sure. why the name guys... of the, the name of my, the religious belief I believe in is Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, why did you guys make yellow on each other? We didn't make yellow on each we other. We have video of you peeing. So? So. And you save it in a nice tea bottle and throw it at each other? No, I, I peed in the uh, in the uh, flood control thing. In down the flood in, control. Down by... Well, you yeah. know what? This will be interesting to see then. The bosses from upstairs wanted us to read this to start the show. Let's see what it says. Gentlemen, as you know, or maybe you don't know, Management from the studio at the secret location somewhere in West Hollywood, California, showed us a video of Perry and Lisa Marie urinating outside the studio before the start of last week's podcast. Our first thought was, what kind of low-class fucking animals do such a disgusting thing? (laughs) Then we saw the national podcast compatibility level ratings and saw that Perry and Lisa Marie's compatibility level were off the charts. There it is. What? There it is. I thought they were going to be pissed at you. We What's were, this? We were hard-pressed to remember any other pair having a higher rating, and since we made our reputations by understanding what is hot and what is not, we've made a decision. These two may be total white trash, but according to the NPCLR, 
They are smoking hot together. You got it. And that's why we'd like to have them do a 10 to 15 minute pilot of the comedy Pure Rock Resurrection podcast. Oh, yeah. Let me finish this. I'd like to have them tape this within the next week or so. And as we said before, you should be watching your steps. We definitely are the bosses upstairs. Right on. So we got to record a 10 to 15 minute pilot for you guys. Beautiful. Really? Beautiful. Okay, well, we'll I'll make a Watch these guys. I bet they're going to get great sponsors. Wouldn't it be funny if your show became bigger than this? I think it will. Would, Why do you think it will? Oh, because it's, they got, it's got because of music. On it. Music. Music. All rock stars get fucking huge like that. Well, well let's say that on your podcast, you start doing better than this one. Would you quit this podcast? I'm not quitting this podcast, but it's 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 it will be a second show. Let me ask you one question about, about your show, Lisa Marie. How much of that time will you guys be peeing on each other? <laughs> I answer everybody. That all wants. depends on how much how much uh, money we get paid for the. Will you actually explain why the Javos pee on each other during Je- mating season? Jehovah's People Witnesses. Know, Jehovah's Witnesses don't. Pee on each other. Make their sense. Stop Make their holy saying scent. the term Javaho, or else, or else I'm going to make sure my show, the comedy Pure Rock Resurrection, is way bigger than this show. What? How could you do that? What do you mean? How could I do that? I mean, I got rock means, stars on that no, show. We know how you could do it, but how could you do that? Like how? I, I mean, we're gonna have rock stars like, on the no, show. No, he means he means like local how, rock no, he bands. Means like how can you do that to us? Yeah, all we've done is try to help you. Well, every well, time you well, piss on me, I piss I don't, back. We no, don't, you that's, piss that's that's your her. show. That's your religion, not ours. That's not my religion. Well, you, you guys have like loser. pineapple juice and asparagus before it. Interesting. During boy. sweeps. What you mean, Lisa and I? Yeah. Maybe. You should suck on her pizza. Pizza, pizza. Marie. like she pees so much. Yeah. Excuse me. Because you guys Excuse pee me. on each other. Because you. Jab we don't us. pee. Shut up. Well, so you better get a show together, and they say they want it done within the next week or so. All right. So the two of you got to get together, and you've got ten to fifteen minutes. I'll find out how they're going to do this and what they're going to do with it. This is how they do, do it. it. This <laughs> is how, how we how do it. How about if I use one of my past? Uh, shows. No, they want you to record something, you dope. Something new and fresh. Now, now where would I be doing the, re- the recording? Here at Probably the here, yeah. Okay. All right, so. But would I be bringing in a band to uh, interview? Where, or? where are they going to put a band in here? Oh, no, it's got to be I you could, and Lisa. I say you and Lisa. Just Lisa and I. You talk or, about tunes. Yeah. You throw your... You're tinkling each other. No, shut up, fool. Why? He's We're trying spin- to help it's, you. It's, it's not funny. It's fucking okay, stupid. Okay, here's the deal. What are you going to talk Pure about? Rock you guys have a hook. The comedy Pure Rock Resurrection was about interviewing rock bands. Okay. Which rock bands would be on you guys? I'll bet you Van Halen would do it. Whoa. Here's the bad thing, though. There's not really enough room in this studio. So what you do is I think that they want, instead of having a full show where you interview rock bands, that's the easy part. The chemistry thing is what you've got to prove to these people. That's the reason they're giving you 10 to 15 minutes to do this show. So so you want Lisa and I to do a... Um, Just a show and talk, do a, to talk do a music. 10 to 15 minute Yeah. What, thing. what would you think, Mole? What do you think they should talk about? Okay, not pop culture and personal lives because that's, that's ours. Thing. I yeah, think don't what rip you us do off. You start talking about what music is hot right now. Start with, like, what is happening right now in the music scene? You know, you'd come out, and I mean, you get, you know, like, what's happening yeah, I, in Billboard right now. Right. Lisa tells some of her big dick jokes that she throws in there, because I think they love that. What are you listening to now, Scaremaster? I'm still a metal monster. Yeah, which metal are you into right now? Oh, well, I'll always be into uh, Pantera and... Uh, yeah, but they're, yeah. But they're, but since Dimebag Daryl got killed, I yeah. mean, that's very sad. And very Why sad. can't you... Did you have anything to do with that one? Whoa. Don't even, don't even make it look like I had something to do Perry, with killing No dogs. one makes okay. it look like it. It's Nobody's just a trail of bodies. By, by it really is. It. I mean, I'm telling you, I've never gotten more emails sent to me about last week's show and your murder spree. 
They didn't know that you had something to do with Nicole Brown Simpson. And now you say Dimebag, what is his name? Dimebag Daryl Abbott. Oh, yeah. no. You he was the lead guitarist for the band Pantera. Sure, Why of did you, How did they think he died? He got killed in that, in that uh, Cincinnati, Ohio nightclub. The one where he was shot? Yeah. Where were you? I was in, uh, in Reseda, fool. Did you yeah. know the guy that shot him? No. What can was anyone his name? Verifi- was, uh, can anyone verify that you were in Reseda? Everybody can verify that Who? I was in Reseda. I can't. I'm your best friend. You're not my best friend. You're the. I've worked good- with you for over 20 years, and I can't verify that. Seems like your story is pretty flimsy. Oh, fuck. Shut I'm just up. telling you. Flimsy. To the- to the common person, it seems pretty flimsy. Am I right, Wool? Am I fucking crazy? To the layman, yes. Whatever. But that's what they talked <clears throat> about. The Nicole Brown Simpson thing and all your other murders. All my other murders? No. Will you be admitting to any murders on the comedy Pure Rock Resolution? Resurrection. Erection? It's coming back. Oh, because it says erection, and she likes to do jokes like that. Yeah, because she did a lot of funny stuff. That's a good fucking thing to have in there. Her constant talking about dick size and that, really funny, because okay. it makes you look okay. sexy. And okay. you also talked about her and her lady parts when she's not around. Yeah. You like her titties, don't you? I love her. I love her tits. What would you do to those titties? You know what i do to no, those I titties. No, I don't. I don't know. Don't, don't play stupid. I'm not a big don't kid play guy. Stupid. But you guys, have, you've made love on her before. I don't think uh, he has. No, I haven't slept with Lisa Marie yet. You said you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did a no, long time ago. Oh, no, maybe you said what you would no. do. Terry and I slept together. No, she jerked you off with her feet. I thought. That was that was when we first got together. It took I a little time. I think they call that a paw job. The job. Anywho, um, so let's get down to business. All right, let's get down to business. I would like to thank the fans because. Last Friday, when our last show came out, we had the most downloads in the history of one day on the Big Three podcast. Our biggest day ever was last Friday. Because of Lisa. Yeah, of course. And the erection. Because of Lisa. Do you think that's it? Damn right it's because of Lisa. Wow. I didn't even think of that. has nothing to do with the promotion and all the podcasts I've been going on promoting the show. Lisa. It's Lisa. Wow. That's unbelievable. <laughs> well, anyway. I told oh, you guys. I, I should tell you this. Uh, before we go any farther, our next VPN show, that's our video show, it's going to be on March 24th, and that's 7 p.m. That's a Sunday. That's March a, we're, 24th, okay. Okay, as you know, we're doing the VPN once a month, and the March VPN show where we show uh, video highlights of classic Big Three moments and you know, new live stuff where you can communicate with us live is going to be on March twenty fourth. What time, Perry? The uh, I don't know. I said it. Seven p.m. Seven p.m. Right at VPN Studios. Right. Okay. It doesn't matter. We're telling these people they're not going to go there. We just want them to listen. Okay. And we also want you to help us out because we're going through a little thing right now that we're having the fans. Go to the VPN page because I don't think that VPN is treating us the way we deserve to be treated. Mole, I know I like, that I like the ladies and the guys. Okay, well that doesn't leave a lot of people out. But what they're not doing, they haven't promoted us at all. We had over one hundred eighteen thousand people listen to our first podcast, and then they claim, "Oh, wait till South by Southwest comes out." Then we're gonna. Oh, promote- I can't wait for South by Southwest. They're going to promote their jazz program, and then they're going to start putting all of our advertising. Did you see our cartoon? Yeah. Did you see it? That looked looked cool. You liked the cartoon? I I thought it was cool. So VPN has done something for us, but we want you to tell them by going to our Big 3 YouTube page at VPN and make comments on all our videos. Tell those motherfuckers over at VPN. No, I'm, I'm letting it all out now. I'm gonna I'm gonna say something about the uh, <clears throat> Lisa and I getting getting our show going. Oh, we can't talk about this. Well, real quick, we're just trying to get Go people ahead. to do I'm that. Sorry. Go to all our videos, like them. Just we want everyone liking them, so it looks like wow, this, we've got a hit on our. Oh hands. yeah, we need definitely need that. So go we there. Definitely need a hit. Can on I ask you guys a question? Shoot, Mom. what did VPN do? Okay, they haven't been promoting us. Okay, they're not promoting us. No. What the fuck? What's their bullshit? I'd like a promotion. Okay. You know what I'd like? What's I'd that? like uh, I'd like at least one manager shift a week. 
Okay, let's go back to what you were saying, Perry. You were talking about your program, the, the, pod- the Comedy um, Pure Rock Resurrection yeah. Podcast. <clears throat> that will be brand spanking new. Now, Lisa and I are sick and tired of working for free, and that's the reason why we're trying to get the Comedy Pure Rock Resurrection back, to turn it into a real show that helps make us money. So <clears throat> that's that's the goal that we're we're expecting is to start making some money. What the f- Okay, well, you do that and you teach us how. Yes, Mary Jane. I just wanted all the fans to know um, for the VPN live show um, at 7 p.m., comment on the YouTube thread right below the live video, and that's the best way to communicate. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Jane. Thank you, Mary Jane. All right. Well, you know what time it is. Right now it's time that we let you tell us what's on your mind. This is where you get a chance to tell us what you're feeling. It's time for our $10 shout-out. $10 shout-out. Hey, Dan, do the bosses upstairs start that thing where they has to be under 250 words? No, but that should be. I'm seeing one here that's pretty long right now. Uh, settle but, in. Okay, settle in, folks. Grab a seat. Now, if you've never heard the show before, this is where we let you tell us what's going on and what your feelings are. And this is how you do it. You send $10 to the $10 shout-out, care of Don Barris, 7510 Sunset Boulevard, number 153, Hollywood, California, 90046. Now, you put $10 cash, no checks, no money orders, and that's straight cash, homie. All right, here's our first one. Dear Big Three, I'll try to keep this short, which you didn't. I can see the length of this. First of all, thank you for the many hours of free entertainment that you've given me and all the other fans. Nothing has ever made me laugh as much as your show. Well, it starts out good, doesn't it? Sure. Perry. Yes? Notice it said free entertainment. Your show is free to all who wish to listen. As a result, you don't get any income. Don and Mole don't complain about that, probably because they are true artists and their goal is, isn't to make money, but rather to make others happy and spread joy around the world. I'd say that's pretty accurate. Mole? True. But you guys don't work for free either. Okay. Yeah, yeah we do. $10. On this? Yeah. Whatever. Well, I'm sorry that we got another job. You should learn to do it. Um, I'm sorry we don't I hold you by the hand every second. Because I'm looking for some work. Why? I got another job too. Where could you get? Could you get me in? Could you put in a good word for no, me? No, it's not acting. It's. It doesn't matter. What is it? It's audio, video, technical. Oh, stuff. that's perfect. awesome! Right well, I could put in a quad system in your house. No, wrong. We're <clears throat> setting I mean, up movie cameras. Set for... me up. All right. Well, we'll talk Whatever. about that later. Let me get back to this. If you want to make money, Perry. Why don't you just try doing what Don and Mole do and get a job outside the podcast? We were just talking about that. That brings me to my second point. Perry seems to get really confused every time a $10 shout-out mentions his fake disability scheme. I bet he has already started his lame protest after hearing that last sentence. Well, actually, he didn't. Fake disability scheme, huh? A little late. Perry, please stop offering to post pictures of that smashed-up car you were in during your teenage accident. Let me make it clear. Nobody doubts you were in a severe car accident. What we all doubt is your accident left you disabled. Calm down, Perry. I'll tell you why. Somehow, Perry, even with your so-called disability, you were able to work for years at a grocery store and print shop. But when it became easy for you to claim disability, you went for it. I'll bet my life that if you were offered a job you enjoy, like being cast in the Windy City Heat 2, your disability would stop bothering you just long enough to film the movie. Don't you find it strange, Perry, that by some miracle your disability doesn't seem to bother you when it comes to acting, memorizing dialogue? He can't memorize dialogue, can you? I'm terrible at memorizing dialogue. Yeah, so why is this guy... This, so that <clears> makes this guy, his whole this letter... This guy's fucking bullshit. Uh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Memorizing dialogue and taking direction. But your so-called disability won't allow you to deliver pizzas, cut grass, or answer telephones. Here's some advice, Perry. Come clean. Just be a man and admit that you're faking a disability faking so you don't have it, right? to work at anything outside showbiz. It will make you feel a lot better. 
Let me explain something to this. Let punk. me explain something. Shut to up, you asshole! Shut up, asshole! Shut up, asshole! I've got serious. nothing more to say, but if shut up, asshole! Tell I can make you talk. Me and my buddy Shut up, asshole! 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 Shut all right, let me finish. It this. won't cost you a lot well, of cash. When it came to let me let me break break you a All second. All right, grocery stores. I I had a breakdown at Vons one year working for them. I got laid off every grocery store I worked for after. Uh, my excuse was because of girls. Their excuse was more than just girls. So, um, I mean, what do you mean? It had a lot to do with my uh, disability. What's your disability? What do you mean, what's my disability? Oh, forget. Let me finish this $10 shout out. May I please? Finish it. Okay. Oh, my God. It's still going on. Ask yourself this. What would Javaho do? Do you really think sure. other Javahos are out there scamming their fellow citizens out of tax dollars? Or do you think that all Javahos are lying, racist, homophobic, gypsy, greaseball, piles of garbage like you? Speaking of Javahos, Perry claims to be a pious Javaho. A who? P I O U S. What does that mean? Do you know what that means, Mo? I'm devout. Okay. I'm not a baptized. I'm a non baptized Jehovah's Witness. Okay. Oh, oh you're, you're a scam bats. artist. <clears throat> Perry what? claims to be a pious Javaho, but he is constantly brags about paying hookers and strippers for sex, as well as bragging about sucking Randy Callen's nine-inch penis and putting his own penis in the poop hole of a man called Sheba. Never okay. did I suck off okay. this. Let me tell you, you know, right off the bat, nobody ever said that Randy Callen had a nine-inch penis. So this whole letter means nothing. It's bullshit. Yeah, okay. His dick how is the can, size of a pinky finger. Okay, how can anybody believe anything Perry says? All that being said, I love the show. Keep up the good work. All of us should keep praying that Terrifying Tim, a real skateboard enthusiast, is found alive and well so he can finally replace Perry. Big three. Big three. From a true fan of Don, Mole, Mary Jane, and Vince, Victor Brandel, Lanesburg, Michigan. Ah, Michigan. My neck of the woods. Mole, would you mind reading one for us, please? Yep. Here you go. Oh, this looks official. And it's because it is. It's from the Federation of Advancement of Ground Glass Optic Telescopes. Optical Telescopes. That's Vince's department. Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C. Hold on, three. hold on. Don't mention Vince. A lot of people don't like him at all. My name is Edwin Hubble, and I'm the president of the Federation of the Advancement of Ground Glass Optical Telescopes. F-A-G-G-O-T. Well, we here at F-A-G-G-O-T are happy to hear that your sound engineer, Vince, is a telescope enthusiast. We find his demeanor to be so boring that he sullies the reputation of telescope enthusiasts everywhere. Please forward the enclosed $10 to Vince in hopes he will spend the money on personality lessons. Some of your other stargazing listeners may be excited to hear that there will be a lunar eclipse on June 26th of this year that will only be visible from the Los Angeles area. Our calculations have specified 7722 Reseda Boulevard as the best possible you know what? for which to view the eclipse. You know what? Oh, yeah, it's in the letter. What did I tell you the last time you mentioned my home address? What? I am never saying another word on the show again. What? Hold on. P.S. P.S. Hold on. As a way of spreading the many joys of telescope enthusiasm, we did some research on the star of your show, Perry Caramello. We have dug up this interesting historical factoid. Please tell Mr. Caramello that roaming gypsies throughout the Byz Byzantine Empire referred to Perry's astronomical constellation, or in modern parlance, zodiac sign as Sheba the Temptress. Whoa. Sincerely, Edwin Hubble, President of FAGGOT. That is interesting, Scaremaster. Very interesting. All right, here's another one. Dear Big Three, you guys are the best. Don, you understand what is funny in life. 
Mole, you have the quickest wit in the biz. And yeah. Barry, your existence is completely absurd. Have you guys heard about the new Perry Caramello inspired game sweeping the nation? It's called Suck Sewer Scam. The way it works is you name three dudes that you would want to get money from, and then you have to decide which one you would like to suck for money, sue for money, or scam for money. For an example, if Perry gave Randy Callahan, Jimmy Kimmel, and Uncle Sam. Oh, uh, he would say, suck, suck Randy, sue Jimmy, and scam him. Scam Uncle Sam. Hmm. What are they saying here exactly? The game is close to the fat gay loser game, and all the kids are loving it. Try it at home sometime. Please keep the podcast going forever. Big three. A big fan, Zach. Thank you, Zach. Thank you, thank you. Give, give, hey, do three more names. Do three more names. Scam Master, random names, okay? Random names. Um, Batman. Uh, Obama. And um, David Jansen. Ooh, David Jansen. That's a name from the past. No, Martin Balsam. Martin Balsam, Batman, and Barack Obama. Which one? Sue Sucker Scam. What are you doing, Perry? He's doing that order. So it's Sue Batman, um, Suck Obama, and and Scam Martin Balsam. Oh, look at this one. It's from a kid. It's from a kid. Dear Big Three, I am a senior in a film school. I'm writing an essay about my favorite actor, Perry Caramello. How could that be? Would he answer a few questions? Sure he would. Scare Master, you want to take this? You want to read this? It's a kid. Just, you want to read it? Why don't you read it to him? Um, one, Perry, how did you get into character of Stone Fury? Please be specific. Here, let him read it. You can't answer the kid? Character of Stone Fury. How did I get into character? Yeah, how'd you, they want to know how you prepared for the role. It's, it's an acting class. I was in acting classes. I took acting. I was in acting school. So, But what specific techniques did you use to help you get into the character Stone Fury, I think is what they're asking. God. Um... The uh, Stanislavski technique. Oh, oh. Stone Fury. Wow. Method. Very cool. You became yes. Stone Fury. What's yes. the next question? Number two, what actors and directors would you con- would you consider working with for your next film? Spielberg. Mm-hmm. He's good. Um, Bobcat Goldthwait. Um, what about actors? Uh, Tom Hanks. That's good. Um, Will Smith. You would consider working with those guys? Uh, hello. Can you answer the question? Hello. Hello. How about? Yeah, I'd consider working with those guys. Um, how about us? Oh, Don and Mole. Yeah. What about you two? Oh, come on. Number three. (laughs) How do you relate to the rumor that Marlon Brando gave a hand job to be in the Wild One? Your it's, number one it's band, bullshit. Ryan. It's bullshit. In, in in his first leading role, yeah, wild one. Saying. He didn't give somebody a hand that's job. What, there's a rumor. Apparently, it's a Ryan said. It's a Who's rumor. Ryan it says it's your number one fan. So I don't know why he'd lie to you. It's a rumor. And you have proof that it's a rumor. You know that album? I don't rumors? have proof of nothing. Rumors yeah, it's by good Fleetwood Mac. Good album. They just put out a box set with just all sorts yeah, those of crap. Are, those are crap. Up. Those are very good musicians. Really you don't are. like uh, Fleetwood Mac? Uh, yeah, I like. Fleetwood you just Mac. said you said I they... didn't say that. I never said that at all. I what said did, they what? just put out an album, a box set with all this stuff in it, all this great stuff. And he said something about you saying crap. No, he didn't say that. Name name the five members of Fleetwood Mac. Dream Lindsay, rumors. Lindsay, Lindsay what? Uh, Lindsay Buckingham. Lohan. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Nikki. Um, Six. Da, da, da. Not Nikki Six. <laughs> oh shit! What's her fucking last Nikki name? Nikki Cox. What's uh, our next Nick leg? Nick Fleetwood. Yeah. Come on. I don't remember the other two. 
There's three. You didn't men- you mentioned two. You I mentioned Mick Fleetwood. I mentioned Mick Fleetwood, Lindsay, Lindsay Buckingham, and uh, Stevie Nicks. Excuse Stevie me. Nicks. Um, the other two have the same last name because they were married. The uh, fuck. John McVie, Christine McVie. John, John All right, here's Christine the next McVie. one. It's from the desk of John Franklin, KBE. All right, subject $10 shout out. Dear sirs and the divine Mary Jane. Hello. I enclose $10 for each of my shout outs. $10 each to Don Mole and Mary Jane. Thank you for providing the fans with such great shows. $10 to buy Vince a ball gag. Only for use in the studio, though. No taking it home. Instead of a measly $10 for Perry, I like to take him up for dinner. Don't worry, I'm not some kind of Olive Garden butthole. I love fine dining and the swankiest of all spots. I eagerly wait Perry's reply. This is Sir John Franklin, KBE. Confirmed bachelor, it says. P.S. I have enclosed a traditional summer manor shiny English twopence to dazzle the gypsy. This should prevent him from using curses or witchcraft on me. What? What? What is this? You hang out with uh, John Quincy Adams a lot. What is yeah. that? Mole? Whoa. What is that? That's a lot of do re me right there. What is it? It's supposedly it stops you from witchcraft and things like that? Yep. You going to hold on to that? Yeah. Be I'll careful keep it. with it. All right. Dear Dan Barney, I've been keeping my feelings for you secret for the past 20 years, and I could stay quiet no longer. I love you from the top of my fedora to below my fanny pack. I've just been too shy to pull down my pants and show you how I really feel. Every time I feel like telling you about the arousal cause you caused me with your matinee idol good looks, luscious lips, and deep piercing blue eyes, I get scared you might reject me. What the fuck is Whoa. this? Every time I ask... For a thousand dollars, what I'm really saying is that I love you, and I would love to bend you over the couch of the Simply oh Dan my Podcast goodness. Network Studios and spray my good feelings into you through my Italian style penis. Dan Barney is been been a long time coming, coming quote, and I love you, and I'd like you to do whatever it takes well, to make you happy. P.S. I'd love to host another podcast from my apartment as long as we move my couch outside and all of us take a shower together beforehand, so you won't dirty my very clean apartment. Love, Scary Perry F. Cara. What? Bello. I didn't write that. Italian superstar. I didn't write that. Sounds like seven, you. 7722 I didn't write that. Nor would I put, nor would I put my... No one, nor would I put yeah. my home Look, address, that's you your, That's that name. That's the wrong name. It should be Caramello, but it says it with a V. That's how it's spelled with a V. Italian superstar. Whoa, Perry, did you write this to me? No, I don't write your Come shit. Come on. It, you, I don't write this shit. Accepting show. your love, Let dude. me see this fucking letter. Oh my God! That's I, your typing. That's uh, <laughs> not me. That's your typing. That's your that's font. That's not my typing. That's, that's not even my font. Absolutely, totally your, your font. Typing. That's not even my font. That's totally your not. font. You don't have that font on your computer. Oh, of course, everybody. Okay, got so you okay, lied. Well, there you, you just go. Lied. Everybody's got this. Oh, Why would you lie unless everybody. that really was yours? All right, we're going to read this last one. Dear Big Three. Here's the font on my computer. If Whoa. You want to Let me read. You couldn't change the font for one letter, so it looks a little secretive, and you could deny whatever. it once I kind of rejected whatever. you in front of everybody on the podcast well, yeah, network. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, let me Nine read this bucks. one. Dear Big Three, I want to make it very clear. I am not. It's bold print here on this. Coming back to the podcast to continue my work as the editor-in-chief of Perry Leaks. As most of you know, I resigned my position a few weeks ago, but after they hearing about them. but after hearing about the Javaho Gypsy and his former public access show co- co-host urinating outside the studio, I had to get involved one more time. Unbelievable. <clears throat> after having a team of helpers go through hours upon hours of security <gasps> video, we found that this was not the first time that Perry relieved himself outside the studio while waiting for the podcast. We found video of Perry urinating in a flower pot on the roof while a 16-year-old girl watched from the high-rise across the street. (laughs) Are you shitting me? That's funny to you? It's hilarious. (sighs) (laughs) Maybe because I left as the editor-in-chief of Perry Leaks, I should just walk away from this classless loser, but I can't. I feel the need to let people know everything about this piece of shit. 
If I'm out of line, I'm sorry. Your loyal fan, friend, and former worker, Huey Craig, Craig the, the third, turd, former editor in chief of that's Perry Leaks. Huey Craig the third. What about the fact that you pissed in front of a 16 year old girl? I, look, if she's sitting on the fucking roof across the street, that's her decision. Okay, yeah, but she shouldn't have to stare down at you and your and your lady friends, whoa, whoa, whoa. your co-host. Yeah. No, she making wasn't. that you guys are just outside making. Look, look, look. I just don't know what to First say. First off, Lisa and I were not on the roof; we were somewhere else. Okay, this this con this this facility has security cameras everywhere. Okay. I I didn't realize that. Okay, I, I'm just. I know they got security cameras. You're in the an animal. Lot. You're a fucking animal. All right. Thank you. Anyway, that was today's $10 shout out. $10 shout out. <laughs> you enjoy the end of that. I really feel terrible because the people that came out to the 20th anniversary show, they haven't gotten all their VIP stuff that we'd promised them. Well, just so you know, it is on the way. We've been waiting for this 20th anniversary show to be completely edited, and I think it's just about done. And within the next couple of weeks, we're going to be sending them out. I just want to tell everyone. And this is the Criterion edition, right? Oh, they get a lot of stuff in this. I feel very lucky for these people. Anyway, I do want to say I'm sorry for the delay, and I'm sorry we haven't addressed this earlier. But I promise that you will get this. And right now is a time where Perry is allowed to talk about what he wants. Go! I got to talk about Scary Perry Skateboards That's at www.scaryperryskateboards.com. Uh, talk about our quad stereo company, man. Talk about quad. Why would I talk about that? Because you're not working for me. We got the van. You ain't got, got shit. We got the stereo speakers. I tell we got to set I them look, up. Scaryperryskateboards.com. And quad S C A R Y P E W R Y S K. The number eight. Dot, wait, the number eight, boards.com. Since you sent you, me that letter, I feel really weird. You order decks, you order t-shirts. That's all I have in stock. That's I didn't all I know sell. You Forget your iPod, get a real quad with the Quadrophenics. We'll cruise over to your pad and we'll set it all up. We're going to put some big wooden speakers in the corners. It's going to be awesome. Quadrophenics, and it won't cost you a quad of cash. Stop! And that was 60 Seconds with Perry. And the Quadrophenics. Soon it's going to be scary and, and Lisa. Oh, can I show you guys something? You know, I've been getting a lot Absolutely of, I've been can. getting a lot of uh, Moventions. Oh, to really? Lately, and I got, you got, I got a Movention for you. It's called my, 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 my. Shut up! I like that one. What? It's pretty good. Um, the, uh, this is, looks like one of those regular laser pointers. Yeah. This guy was able to jailbreak it so that, that it can, well, it's like, it, it actually would burn, it, you know, you see that, like, it, it can, like, burn, you smell that? Smell that. Yeah. Ow! Fuck! Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry, I hit your skin. Sorry, dude, sorry. You can't. It sears it right on there. Sorry, oh my bud. God, That'll Mo. clear up, but it's like, a, it's like a away. quick burn. It's like a Put quick, that thing away. Is it, is it still hurting? Please, scare us. Put the your hand up. Fuck. Put your hand up for a second. Put your hand up. Don't, don't. It burns. Put your hand up. No, Mo, put the thing down. Seriously, that just burned me. Scare master. Look at the look scar. Over, look over here. Look over here. Let me try to get it. Don't, don't. I'm gonna put it. Mo, right. I'll, put it down. I'll put it on his microphone. It's, it's on the microphone. Oh, microphone. Perry, get out of the way. Get out of the way. That burns you. You see it? It's right there. Mo, put it down. What the fuck you doing, motherfucker? I'll come over there and beat the fucking shit out of you. All right, all right, relax, dude. What did I do? What did you do? Was that the what phone? Did, why are you walking on your head? Yeah, that is the phone. Perry. You're going to stand on your head. Can you send that through for us, please? Hello, young lovers, whomever you are. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Adams. Adams. How are you? Hey, and we are glad for it. How goes the podcasting? Pretty good, I'll tell you that. How are you doing? Me? Oh, me. You want to know how I am? You want to... Well, 
it's, it's quite considerate, really, really. I'm afraid my tongue is not long enough to tell the tale of how I am these days. I don't, I don't know if it's <laughs> good or bad. Or... Oh, I'm fine. I just wish my tongue were longer. Uh, I could swap uh, so many more spots, yes? Okay. Hey, right. what's going on with the uh, whole musical thing? What's going on with it? Oh, what's going on with the musical? That old thing. Mm, yes, I, th- I thought nobody enjoyed it. No, oh, I've heard nothing but good oh, things about it. Really, really. Well, I, I personally, I find that hard to imagine. Are we like? Are we gonna? And <laughs> quite frankly, it's the only thing I find hard these days. Uh, are we gonna do a song? Are we going to do a song? No. You know what? I don't think we are. I don't think we are doing a oh. song. No, 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 no. Oh, I come don't. On, know. Mr. Adam, I'm come on, more. people like the song. No, I don't. I don't think we. Oh, all right, all right. I'll start it. I Shut up. I can't help myself with you three. Perry, Perry, let me, do you really want to hear a song? I'll sing the song. No, you're not. Well, listen, listen. If it, listen, if it puts a smile on Perry Smacker, all right, all right, yes, I do have a new Windy City ditty. However, hold on to your hats. This one is for Big Lou. Yes. Oh, wow, awesome. The bad guy. Yeah, he's tough a gangster, hero, Mr. Barnes. Are you ready to show off your pipes? Yeah, I, I guess. Now, has Mold given everyone the lyrics? Oh, let me guess. Oh, oh God. Yes. Sorry, Johnny. No, no, sorry. No, no. Hey, all right, master. all right. Pass them out, Walter. Pass them out. Pass there them you out. Go, there you go. Now, okay, here's what I would like I, to do. I would like Perry and Walter to take the line. Whenever it says the words Big Lou, I want you to do that. Big Lou. Let's hear it, Big, Big Lou. Big Lou. The rest is for Mr. Barnes to handle. Yes, yes? Me, 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 me. La, 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 la. All right, let's begin. Let's begin. This is a classic from some hippie kids who lived in the flat below me in Stanhope Gardens. Yeah. Oh, I know that band. Are we ready? All right. Let's hear this. Let's hear it. Wait, Perry, One. don't interrupt. I'm singing. This is mine. You sing Big Lou, period. That's all I sing. You and I sing Big Lou together. So I'm going to go one, two, Shut up. three, they're... and then you and I both say Big Lou. No, no, they're well, going to no, do the music. Let's listen to the music. Put the music. Oh, here we go. Oh, uh, Scare Mass, you know this tune. Pink Floyd. Sure do. From the wall. I remember that. All right, now you see where we're going with this. This is going to be Big Lou. And it highlights the whole industrial complex in England. Getting excited. You could feel the suspense building as Big Lou emerges from the shadows from the back of the theater and takes the front of the stage. And we begin. Big Lou. Out there in the street, yes. in the windy city heat, can you hear me? Yes. Wonderful, Mr. Yeah, Barnes. Yeah, Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Big Lou. Doing lots of crimes, driving stone out of his mind. You better, better feel, feel me. me. Very good, Mr. Barnes. Very good. Okay. Here we are. Big Lou. You, you know, know that, that I have. Wonderful, wonderful. And when I find, I find that, that stone, stone, I'll take out the trash. Yes. Wow. Yes, okay, we're going to pick it up a little here. Yeah, Master, Walter, ready? Here we are. Big Lou. I'm the coolest dude, and Stone Fury is just rude. Don't you know me? Big Lou. Got a henchman named Brock, and a big gigantic cog. Stone wants to blow me. Fuck you. Big Lou. Would you help me to carry the stone? He's just too fat. I can't lift him alone. And now we just rock out. Here oh, we are. wow. Now we dance in this? Yeah. Right? Fuck yeah. Bob your head. Rock the fuck out, Perry. This is Davy Gilmore. Yep. Uh, but I'd like to see what I imagine here are some dancers all looking like Big Lou. What a sight that would masculine be. Masculine physique coming to the front of the stage, all spinning around, and maybe just in vests and some short shorts. They're tapping, they're tap dancing, they're tap dancing, they're waving their canes here. 
Help me with this, Mo. Scare Master. Scare Master, give us the air guitar. Give us the air guitar. Air yeah, guitar. nice. Yeah. Water on the airdrop. Ah, bear Wonderful. jumps. Wonderful. And big new turns. But it was only Stone Fury. And Brock is too high, as you can see. I am, I'm way high. No matter how Stone tries, he cannot beat me. He can't beat you, Big Lou. Like the way he beats up some guys. 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 And we go on and on like that. We go on and on, maybe do the entire um, musical. It's really good. I like that. We'll talk. We'll figure things out. That sounded like Pink. um, So, what do we think? Pink Floyd. uh, It sounded like Pink. uh, Pink Eye? Floyd. Pink. uh, Yeah, Pink Floyd. 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 Yeah. There we are. There we are. Mr. Barnes, I had no idea you had classical singing lessons. Well, I don't like to brag, Mr. Adams, but... Classical well, singing lessons? You're the only one who doesn't like to brag. Betty's always talking about his talent and throat. Yes, yes? <laughs> I <don't mind> <laughs> oh, wait, listen, it's just a joke. It's just a joke. Like, say, what do you call a cow who eats your grass? A lawnmower. These jokes really are the worst thing in the world. They are. Yeah, they are. They're not very Lawn good. Moore. And so, Moore. with the tip of my hat, I say, doodly doodly. Doodly doodly to you, Mr. Adams. To you, Mr. Adams. Oh, Mr. Adams, I got this cool blazer that burns. Don't burnt, watch it. Get down. Put the fucking stop laser it. Stop away. it. Stop it. Fucking hold stop the, the it. Up. Let me see if I get the paper. Watch out. Hold on. It's right by your head. Don't move your head. Don't move your head. Don't move your head, man. Pe- Mole, please. Mole, seriously. That burned my damn hand. Sorry. Give me the give me the laser. Give me. Oh, oh. Did I get back later? That's fucking dangerous. Why is it dangerous? What do you mean? Why look is it dangerous? Look what it did to my hand. Planes have it... crashed. Hey, Mayor Jane, look what it did to my hand. Yeah. How do you like it? No. How would you like it? No. Okay, then stop. Oh, just point it at the motherfucker. No, I'm. Give him a fucking uh, rash on his up, face. Barry. Let me just. Do hey, this. what did I do? Oh, no, look at what you did to his hand, asshole. What? Yeah, the laser did, did that. Do? I didn't do that. You did it because you. No, the laser you did. You hold it. the laser. Get, 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 get. It. And you point it no. on his fucking hand. You told me no, to do it. You no, told me no, to do it. no, no. I didn't tell him to do anything. You just said you hold the laser. Did you just tell him to do it after you saw that I was injured? So why would he say that? Because he's a fucking moron. Okay, Mo, he didn't say that. Yeah, that's what he that's what he just said. Ladies he didn't say Ladies and gentlemen, it. please, did Perry say you hold the laser and point in his hand? That's what fucking All right, well, did that right, to the back of his hand. If you heard him so say that, write us it. and tell us. All right. Well, do, anyway, I, do, I, do, do you have your sex, sex yes, Do you I have do. your sexcapades? Yeah. All right, this, for people that don't know, this is where Perry talks about some of his sexual conquests over the years. He's brought up some good ones, and I'll admit a lot of them were terrible. But what are we going to be doing today? Have you ever fucked any Asian pussy? Whoa. Yeah. As good as mine? Oh, you Barry, have an Asian up, pussy. You don't have First the letter, now you offer sex in your Asian pussy? Hey, can well, I just what say is that? One is thing that really what you quick. call your um, asshole? Can I just say one thing? Scam Master, can you please stop flirting with I'm talking before? about no, no, the chicks that letter. I've banged. You sent a $10 shout-out. I'm talking shout about out. the chicks that I've banged. No. I didn't send yes, no $10 shout-out. Do you shout remember out. when he used to talk about my eyes? He you, talked about your eyes. Do you think my eyes are pretty? I'm not talking about your eyes. Do you think my eyes are pretty? I'm talking about yes Asian or no? chicks. Do you think my eyes are pretty? Yeah, you got hot eyes for yeah, There we go. Just like you said, the $10 shout-out. So does Frank Sinatra have... Oh, Pretty blue eyes. Oh, here we Mr. go. Mr. Blue Eyes. I remember him from now, Palm Springs with you and your mom, remember? I'll tell you something else. You weren't there. That was a great batch of $10 shout outs. It really was. Pretty, now, you want to hear sex capades about an Asian chick? All right, go ahead. All right, this was back when I lived in uh, Canoga Park. Um, now, this one Asian girlfriend. Uh, what was her out- name? What, what was her name? What did she oh, used look, to sound bur- like? It's burning the paper. Oh, he's got the laser. He's got the laser. <laughs> Well, she reminds me a lot of my my uh, musician friend uh, uh, Reiko. All right, this hot piece of ass. Rapo? Reiko. R a k i. What is she? she R a k y o. She's Asian. She's a musician. She sounds like it. She's an awesome musician. That's not Reiko. Japanese, Chinese. I think Thai. she's Chinese. How do you know? How can you tell the difference between those people? I, you know, I don't know. My friend, my my best friend from elementary school. Is Chinese and uh, he knows how to 
Do you judge people on their nationalities? No. Never? Well, I, I sometimes use the N-word and stuff Yeah. because of, of the way the way people are. What do you mean? But, but I mean, the, the, just attitudes. I kill. You know. No. Like you. You use the N-word on me? Why would you do that? Anyway. I wish anyway let me do my fucking sexcapades. All right. I was driving by I Topanga hope it means, Plaza. I hope the N is for nice. I was driving by Topanga Plaza one day back in the early mid '90s, and this is uh, and this and this Benz, a, a 450 SL, was uh, a Rayco type appeared in the car. Rayco, my my uh, musician. It's not Rayco. R a y k o. Rayco is. Remember her name. when you worked at Mineke Mufflers? In this female yeah. music, in, in this female musician. I've uh, known for years. Now, now this is uh, <clears throat> that is so sexy. I've uh, told her she should, you know, pose for Playboy. Oh, she said no. that's nice. What a you. She said no because it would mess with her musical career. Oh. So uh, back to the bends with the uh, the Asian babe. You ever see Back to the Future? I looked at her and told her about. Uh, I looked at her, told her to follow me. Which one? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, because she was uh, lost for a moment, so that was uh, when when she said. Uh, wait, wait, wait. She said just to get me help her, just to get me to help her, because she said she was lost. So uh, I had her follow me back to my place. We went oh, into my apartment, a studio shit. under a staircase in Canoga Park. There was no, there was no. Uh, Questioning her, so repeat outside. She grabbed me. She grabbed it's my cock in the apartment. Said, "Let's do it right here." This is the lady in the car. Yeah, I wiped. You, you followed her I back to the house. I wiped out my my. I whip no. I I whipped out my sleeping bag. That's what you call your cock. Because it puts ladies. I'm to sleep. not. No, just relax, you guys. I whipped out my sleeping bag. Is that what you call your cock? No, it's not what I call my cock. It puts ladies to sleep. That I've been uh, sleeping on, and uh, and the action be and the action happened. She was she was about ninety five to one hundred five pounds. Years with old. Perfect pounds, idiot. Ninety five to one hundred five pounds weight. She was very thin. Wait for petite. what? Let me ask you something. If with you had perfect a choice, C Perry, cup chest, Perry, stop. I'm almost Perry, done. No, I don't care. I want to ask you a question. For pussy Let, Perry, like cherry Perry, vanilla stop. Ice cream. Would you stop? I'm going to throw this water on you. I'm asking you a question. Let's say you had the choice of a woman with double D titties. That weighed 180 pounds, or a girl with B cups, but was 105 pounds. Which one would you take? Depends on her personality. Let's say they both weren't disgusted with you. If they were both good girls. What do you mean, good girls? I mean, respectful. They wouldn't fuck Wait, you if they were good girls. What? They wouldn't fuck you if they were good girls. They have really low self esteem. What? Let's say they have no self-esteem. Their, their father left them when they were like three years old. They, their mother was a prostitute, and now they know you. Would you? Which one would you take then? Take them both. Okay, continue on with your second page. So she was uh, so firm and fit. How firm and fit was she? And she was a fitness instructor at one of the gyms over by me. I believe she worked That's the twenty-four hour. She worked the twenty-four hour. So, uh, other than the ballets, which is now only fitness. How firm was she? When you grabbed her ass, it wouldn't jiggle like, uh, like, uh, never mind. That's it? Yep. So she's a, she was a Japanese or Chinese lady who was 85 years old who you had sex with who was, on a sleeping bag in a garage? She was in her 20s, okay? Why do you call your dick a sleeping bag? I didn't say my dick was a sleeping yeah, bag. Yeah, he puts did. Out I whipped sleep. out my sleep bag. Your dick. Yeah, yeah, I went. You wiped I, out. You, you wiped out, out on the skateboard. Bag. So there she was, looking hot. So I whipped out my sleeping bag. Did you say, hey, you want to check out my skateboarding scars? Want to see where I had a neck operation? How many scars do you have on your neck? You just the, the, the trick? Tracheotomy scar on the back nice. of your neck. The back of my neck, the the main the main scar for. Um, Do they just three. keep going over the same? Thing? Oh, oh, I got an idea the for same. a movie we can make. Scar neck. 
He's like no. Scarface. Is that a star? Is that a Scarface? Get the A O G G. He's Scarneck and and everything. Hey, Scarneck. Yeah, okay. I, like I can I can be the star in that movie. Well, you know, I see that we're way behind schedule today, and we got to get to what is the most. Well, before you say this, I would like to say that even though we are behind schedule, and the people out there are probably behind schedule because everyone's living a, a, a fast paced, busy life, and everyone's got a crazy schedule to keep. Hey, tonight you when you want to pick up when you want to pick up, think about dinner. Who's got time to cook? I you don't know, know what I do. Any, what you know do you what do? I do. What do you do? I pick up. I pick up Scaremaster's phone and I and I say, "Hey, who's on over to seven seven two two Steve Boulevard with a big bowl of what the huck food?" That's what the huck for the finest in Thai cuisine. Is. So you like to go? What the fuck? You're gonna try to say something? Seven seven two two Receipt of bowl. Don't do this. Cut out. Don't do this. Cut he out. wants to say 7722 on, then I'm going to. Here's a the difference. You don't cut my address up, but you cut out yours. Yeah, exactly. Big pussy. Yeah, <laughs> 7722 receipt. It was all cut West out. West Hollywood, California. Yay. Okay. None of this is making the show at all, though, anything we did so far. Three two three six five four seven nine five two. You may That's as well what stop, Dan. Because of the Elvis. Uh, yeah, thank you. We gotta go back. We gotta go back to the island. Turn him on, Scare Master. Just turn him on. I Give me the laser. 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 <laughs> I'm not giving oh, you the laser. You get him Give me the laser and fucking put a big scar on my face. Come on, we're in the scar middle of a neck. commercial. For the finest in Thai cuisine, it's What the Huck, 323-654-7952. What's that number, Perry? 323-654-7952. Mole. Tres, dos, tres. Seis, cinco, cuatro. Siete, nueve, cinco, dos. Say it in French. And now it's time for Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole play. If you've never heard Mole Play before, Mole Play is an improv game that we play here on the show. This is where Mole will set up a scenario. He will then cast this scene, then he will direct it. I guess we know all that, but what we don't know, Mole, is what are we going to be doing on today's Mole Play? Well, since our show is a... Uh, uh our show is uh, after the Oscars, and the Oscars last week did that big tribute to James Bond. It was making me think about how great a James Bond movie we could make. So what we're going to do is we're going to think about Scary Perry as James Bond. And he's, Nobody would buy that for but a listen, second. Wait he, a second. But hold on hold a second. On. I want to hear this. he's going to seduce a gorgeous... Lisa Reddit Marie. Stop. He's going to seduce a gorgeous Asian lady. She's oh. either Chinese or Japanese. Now, before we begin with the scenario, Scam okay. Master, I'm going to need your assurance. Um, I've talked to some people, and there's been a lot of uh, a lot of concern. I can't over do this. The fact that I, you pinch, that, that I you can't grabbed, do this anymore. You grabbed, I, I got to be honest with you. I can't do this. I know. I understand. No, Listen, you don't get it. There's trust. There's trust involved in Scare Master. It, He's bullying you. Bullying. A couple You're, weeks ago, he bit my nipple. And then last week, he was just terrible in role play. So either get nearly raped and damaged skin, or what we have is we have Perry just being so bad, it's pointless to even do. So you think that uh, biting your nipple is is so bad with the way you guys fucking fuck with me constantly? I don't fuck what do we ever. do? What did we do? I don't what remember anyone do? biting your nipple. Oh, I don't either. I didn't hit you with the laser. Who's telling you to say that, Lisa Marie? Oh. No! Let's get through this mole play. We <laughs> have very little time left. Let's do this. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, so this mole play is going to be a really good one. So, but And Scare Master's got a vow to not bite Dan's nipple or any other part to, of him. You got to, or I can't do this. I'm going to put my hand out. I'm not going to bite your nipple. Don't grab my hand. You're sweaty fucking. What do you eat before you come here? Fried chicken? God, your hands are just filled with grease and oil. You know what? That's not let's my, do mole play. Come on. This is not my Come greasy on. hands. Those are your greasy no, hands. No, my hands are perfect. Feel my hands. They're nice. Thank you, mole. Please. My hands are dry and clean. No, they're not. I see sweat on them right now. Let's get to mole play. Here we find James Bond 
Scary Perry's version of James Bond when he's meeting a beautiful double agent Asian woman. He's meeting her in a bar. He doesn't know if he's, she's, she's his contact or a spy who's going to kill him. Um, Dan, you play Scary Perry playing uh, James Bond. Scare Wrong. Master, you are the Asian beautiful double agent. Mo play. Shaken, not stirred. And how about one for the little Asian lady? What would you like to drink, my princess? I'll have the same. Come here. Come You're Asian, Scare Master. You're Asian. What the fuck? <laughs> what, what are you doing? What? Scare Master jumping on Dan. Help me. Get him the fuck off. Get him the fuck off. Stop mole play. Stop mole play. Stop. <laughs> That was mole play. Wow, what just happened? Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play, mole play, let's play mole play. Mole play! What the <laughs> fuck are you doing, dude? You Woo! tried to kiss me. Wow, that was rude. Wow, I put my hand over your lips. Yeah, yeah but you, really you put like your you other hand right in my fucking... I didn't put my other hand. Look at the camera. That was Watch. Rude. Oh, wait till this gets out there. Wow. Yeah, right. Whoa. That was well, crazy. anyway, I, I'm, I'm... I got to get out of here, man. I did not sign on for this. I am blown away. I got to tell you the my... truth. I see by the black box on the desk that shows how much time we've done that we're getting near the end of the show. God, you tried to kiss me. You wrote me a love letter. I didn't write you a love letter. Oh, you, you just flavor? want to be alone with this one. You're I get right. it. I get it. No, he go. wants to be Maul, alone with this Maul, one. don't go, no. please. <laughs> please don't go. We're almost done. <laughs> what is it? So if you want to get in touch with this on the social networks, I'm on all the cool guys social networks. I'm on Twitter, of course. It's simply Don One. That's the number one. I'm on Facebook at Don Barris. Uh, my Instagram is simply Don One, and that's number one again. Now on Vine, which is the that six-second video thing, uh, you can look under simply Don One or simply Don, or maybe even just check out my Twitter, and you can find me there. Mo, what do you got? I got, I got, um, I got my my um, my paper. I, I I put a I go around the houses. I go, hey, I'm a new neighborhood. I gotta let people know that I'm chopping cats way I get to meet him. Oh, so you're now doing this cat thing and you fucking had that cat company call me profusely on my home fucking phone? Is that you that, that uh, did that stupid shit? No. Nope. Bullshit. I wish I could say it was. I'm on Twitter, the real Malinsky. I'm on Twitter as Scary Perry 818 Don't forget your Facebook. Facebook. Perry, Perry F. Caravello. That's K A R. C A R is in car. A B is in victory. Double L O. Don't forget, you want to see me live, you go to the comedy store every single night I'm there. And on Then he'll take you home after. No, I won't. Uh, you, Boy, you have some really delusional dreams. You try to kiss me, you write me a love letter, then your fantasies be taken home by me. No, I'm not. I don't want to go don't, home with you. Don't forget, Please. Monday nights, the Ding Dong Show, we tape a Death Squad podcast. And from what I understand, had over 65,000 listeners last week. Nice. So thank you to those people. But you know what? It's time to say goodbye here. So let's put our hands in there. Here we go. Big, Big three. three. Goodbye. <laughs>